know you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol, a big cat rescue. <laughs> I just had to put that in there um, for those of you that have watched Tiger King. Um, and if you haven't watched it, you need to go watch that show. I don't care what anybody says. Um, so yeah, with uh, the last video I made, I had a blast shooting that video and creating that those photos. So um, I kind of want to do another one today. We're going to try something different with... Hold on. This thing. One of my good friends commented on the photo I posted from the last video and they said, hey, you should do a series around this. So automatically, I got an, I got an idea and I was like, yeah, I should. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this little small series that has to, that revolves around this coronavirus thing or this um, virus. And I'm gonna kind of make it to where it's kind of like awareness and stuff like that. So yeah, you guys will kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna make these little videos um, with like behind the scenes of how I'm gonna do this and how I'm gonna accomplish it. Again, I am no Photoshop professional at all. So some of the stuff, I have the image in my head and these ideas, but I'm kind of like, don't even know how I'm gonna like go about it and make this a reality, but I'm gonna try my best. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna try this one with the glove today and see how it goes so let's get to it so one of the ideas behind this in-home photography stuff I'm doing is pretty much doing it at home so this photo that I have in mind I could easily go and do in the street outside but I'm gonna do it in my backyard just because it's supposed to be in home because of the whole quarantine stuff let me explain it a little more so basically the photo I'm doing today is it's based off um, some reports and uh, pictures I've seen online of people throwing away their used gloves and throwing them out on the, throwing them on the street. They're not throwing them away. Throwing them on the street. First of all, it's littering, and that's bad. And two, you're infecting everybody else by throwing your gloves on the street. So don't do that shit. But yeah, this whole concept is based off of some of those reports I've seen of people throwing their gloves on the street. I'm gonna do this whole. I'm gonna do this photo where the gloves on the gloves on the floor on the street, and. You're gonna be able to see the virus on it kind of glowing, similar to the last photo I did with Erica where the virus was glowing like right up top. But this time the virus is gonna be on the glove or maybe inside the glove glowing out. So we'll see how it comes out. It's gonna be a little difficult. Again, I'm gonna use my cell phone as the color light and then I'm gonna shoot from the top, from the top down and see how it comes out. Hopefully it works out. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, I will be shooting this on my Sony 7 III with a Tamron 28 to 75 for those of you that are curious. Um, simple setup, filming on the A6000. I could probably shoot this photo on the A6000, but I'm using it to film. Maybe I should do one with the A6000 with like a cheaper camera, but either way, um, most of the magic will happen in post. So I'm, this is my backyard, here's the camera. Thinking of doing it like somewhere right here, laying the glove there with the light under it facing up. And I might do another one on this bench, like just sitting on the bench there and it's just like laying there. But we'll see, we're gonna try this spot first. So I'm gonna try and lay the glove down just like this, like it's used. Maybe mess with it a little, like someone just threw it. Don't throw your gloves on the floor. <laughs> so we'll just leave it like this, and then I'm gonna take my phone and turn on this app that I have here. I'm gonna go with the red again. Let's turn up the brightness all the way. It's still pretty light out here. We'll see if it works. So, oh man, you can't really see the glow. We might have to wait a little longer to uh, do this. What if I actually put the if I actually put the phone inside of the glove, it's gonna look too square though. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. No, we're gonna have to wait a little till it gets darker. I think that way we can get more of that red light coming out and it gives you a better effect. Six and a half hours later. So it's a little darker out here now and you can see the light a little better. So we're gonna attempt this. attempt to shoot with the light hitting from the top as well. See how this looks. So I had
had another idea of putting the glove like on a table where somebody normally would leave it as well. I'm gonna try to put the light over it as well as if there's a coronavirus trying to attach to the glove or is on the glove. Take the photo without the light in there and then with the light in there so you can Photoshop it. All right, I think that should be pretty cool. We got like two different locations and then uh, let's take it into Photoshop and see what happens. All right, so business as usual. We're gonna go through the photos, pick out the ones I want, import them into Lightroom and then edit them in Photoshop. So this first photo I thought was gonna come out amazing but I was wrong. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. It kinda does like look like I know what I'm doing but I really don't. So I ended up going with this photo. I started getting all these crazy ideas. I honestly just started clicking and moving things and just trying different things and this is what I ended up with. The second photo I chose actually ended up being my favorite. Um, it was still a lot of work and it took a lot of clicking but I made it work and made it look pretty cool. A lot better than the first one. you guys um <laughs> what I thought was gonna be the easier photo to make was actually a harder photo to make photo was actually a harder photo to make I've been on here for like hour and a half to two hours trying to make this work and look somewhat legit I don't know um like I said uh, I need to practice more Photoshop but you know what the important thing here is it's not about being perfect it's not about being you know like all like fancy and stuff it's more about just trying new things and pushing yourself and practicing and using Photoshop even though you don't know how to use it and you don't know what the hell you're doing and what certain things do and you're just clicking buttons and moving and stuff like that's what it's about to me at least and I hope you know you guys can kind of get some inspiration from this <laughs> try something as well like I said these aren't my favorite they're like whatever I just got two photos out of it I the first photo I started working on it and I started getting more and more ideas and I just started like clicking buttons and using these blurs and stuff and I, and I ended up with with that and then the second one I was just like how am I gonna make this work and like it was just weird but you know what I'm I'm trying here I'm trying here you guys I'm trying I have another idea I'm gonna try tomorrow probably and then we'll see how that goes and I do I am gonna take some Photoshop courses you know because Photoshop definitely is something I've always wanted to learn and I just never really had time to sit down and learn it now is the perfect time to do that so I need to get my Photoshop skills up and maybe I can do stuff like this and create some cool photos so yeah you guys stop trying to be perfect just create whatever you get just try it, work your mind, work your creative muscle, and practice. That's all I can say. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys get some inspiration from this. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.